Ta ta kelkaya yasta. I speak our language, so ta kel Indian language. Every year I berry pick and do my salmon and ningwas and uh, puckleberries, blueberries, yentama if we could get them. But I do a lot of uh, traditional things. My name is Louise Thomas. My parents are Robert Bob Prince, and my mom's name was Bertha Prince. I was sort of one of my dad's favorites. Wherever he went, I was with him all the time. Back then, it was a tradition. If you were a boy, you could learn how to trap and hunt, but girls, you have to stay in school. A lady's place was always home, watching kids and doing all the cooking. Do you remember Irene Prince, Nick Prince's wife? Yeah. She used to work at the band office and um, she did a lot of Indian like handicrafts and she taught a lot of that and she in inspired me by saying ladies can do anything that a man can do like in job wise so after that first I got my driver's license and then after that I went for my my class two to drive a school bus and I drove a school bus for 26 years after that so she's a lady who inspired me I didn't go to residential school. Um, I guess my, my brother Harold um, mm. saved me from that. We were going to go, the bus was going to stop, and Harold and I were supposed to get on the bus. And she had her, you know, your bus door, she had her, her foot against it and she was fighting them. She said she didn't want to go. And as soon as Harl seen that, he, he said, you and I, were not going to go, we're not going to go. And he grabbed my hand and he, he just, he started running. The cops were, were sent for us. They sent the cops to my grandmother's house and the, the priests and the nuns, they came to, they came searching at my grandmother's house and we hid in, um, a uh, root cellar, he said, for two days until nobody stopped coming, then he, he remembers that. So we would have went, it, was, it wasn't for what happened with the bus, we would have went. My most cherished moments that I think about now is I used to coach a uh, softball team and it was boys from 13 to 17. And I coached them for four or five years. And we end up going to the indigenous games in St. Paul's, Minnesota. And then we won a bronze medal. And that's one of my cherished moments. To stay connected with our, our, our culture, the most important part is to learn your language and keep your language, do their hunting, their fishing, their berry picking, like we were taught to do all that to provide for ourselves, so I wouldn't mind to see like all the young people getting involved and to do all those things, even if they had to be taught. Nan you stand la, nan you stand la, pande de, pande de, nan you stand la, nan you stand la, pande. I'm saying to you, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow in our language at song. <laughs>